The spider is gone. Spider is gone. He uh, he was not murdered. He was actually flicked into my little greener pasture pastures down below. So he's wandering around. He'll make his way back soon, but hopefully we'll be gone by then. All right, story time part two. I had a rough couple days. If everybody saw my previous to the last video about the condor knife, you saw what I did to this finger. That's why I kicked off uh, our Memorial Day weekend. Oh, he's being quite brave. It was a bloody mess. No pun intended. Nope. I told you last video it was a crime scene. Couldn't stop the blood. I was in complete panic. My wife, the rock star, <laughs> got me to the hospital as quick as she could without breaking laws. <laughs> and uh, eight stitches later, I'm, uh, I'm moving. Oh, no, wait. Did you tell them how I found you? Oh, she found me wrapped in a towel in my boxer shorts, panicking. No, 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 no. What? The bloody face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, wait, wait. Let me back this up. Folks, I was about to jump into the shower, so I was oblivious to what was going on in uh, the basement. Well, no, I'm sorry, the garage. But before I jumped into the shower, I hear Mr. Bison yelling. Now, I come running out. I find him. I do not see the, the bloody towel and his hand wrapped. All I see is a bloody face. And as you all can well imagine where my mind went, what happened to my Mr. Bison? <laughs> I know, knife boy. So, luckily, I realized it was his finger that was the bloodied mess. And uh, was able to calm down to get him to the hospital and so forth. So if you want to see a picture of the finger and the, the bloody mess in my workbench, back up to the uh, Condor modification knife I did. Wait a minute, two wait videos. a minute. You put the bloody finger? Well, it wasn't bloody. It was just a stitched finger. <sighs> Everyone want a sneak peek now? No, 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 no. Keep that thing covered. Okay, well, <laughs> if you're squeamers, check it out. If not, don't. But I'm sure <laughs> anybody watching my channel and the reason why you watch the channel you guys and girls are all tough. <laughs> but if you cry when you see blood and cut yourself, it's all cool in the gang because I did. So. You even show them the picture of the bench? They, yeah, the, the, I, no, I don't think the bloody bench is on there. If you want to see it, send me a message. No, I'll no, 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 no. <laughs> but I didn't want to get super graphic. You just get a picture of a stitched finger. That I made sure my wife took uh, while we were in the hospital after I got done panicking. So, um, <laughs> anyway, to make me, feel, make me feel better, my wife, as always, is amazing. She got me um, this beautiful case for a, a white classic SD, and I'm just going to pull it out of hair. Um, it does have a personal message on it. That's for me only, but I got a beautiful white classic SD, a little note on it for my bride, and it's very special to me to cheer me up. I will keep this in my pocket. And this uh, came from um, a very cool bunch of people. Give give a, give a shout out to, go ahead on. Well, first of all, the pouch was from Amazon. Uh, so I, I just want to apply um, accordingly. Uh, the knife came from the Victorinox Soho store in New York City. Now, we have a very nice relationship with the folks uh, in Soho. Uh, Mr. Bison and I visit them often, uh, normally around, I would say, the holidays, sometimes during the summer. So we, we have a nice rapport with them. Each uh, holiday season, I call uh, one of the gentlemen at the Victoria Knox store and place an order of some, some surprises, some Christmas surprises for Mr. Bison. So they are familiar with us. But what blew me away, and I'm going to back up a little bit, uh, Mr. Bison and I had a little bit of a rough week in, re in regards to customer service. <laughs> we haven't been very lucky. Uh, it stemmed from our visit to the emergency room, and it continued on from uh, the weekend. However, uh, I'd like to say our faith in humanity and the goodness of certain individuals uh, came through. Yesterday, I called the Soho store to order the classic SD to fit in this little pouch. Uh, the gentleman I work with 
was very patient as I added my engraving uh, thoughts and he told me he'd put it in a FedEx envelope for us and we should have it today. This morning, the FedEx man dropped a box off. I was surprised to find the box because, you know, it was a small knife. When I went and opened the box, I found, uh, Mr. Bison, please show them the book. A very nice added gift. This is the uh, Collector's Companion for Swiss Army Knives by Derek Jackson. This was in there, and I absolutely love it. And I'm definitely going to start looking at it tonight. And with the book was a card, and I will show you. Can they see that? Yeah, okay. here it is, babe. Here's a card. It says Victoria Knox. And I will read it to you. It says, just a little something to read while you recover. Enjoy. Victoria Knox Soho Team. So we'd like to give a shout out. Is that how you say it? Yeah. A shout out? To Here's a look at the beautiful card. To the folks in the Victoria Knox Soho New York City team, and most especially to Paul. Uh, he's the gentleman that we work with. He's, uh, he's something else. So thank you, Paul, and your team. All right, gang, and I'll say it again. Sh big shout out and thank you to Paul and his team at the Soho Victoria Knox store. Appreciate it, and I feel better already. <laughs> so that's all we got story time part two thanks for watching bison and mrs bison out